my god, man. I can't believe I got another 50. Oh. Oh, this class is so hard. Oh. Sometimes in life, it gets hard to see if a correlation is made by a car. And sometimes in life, you just gotta design an experiment. Split in two separate groups. Experimental design. Randomize all the units. Experimental design. Replicate each treatment. Experimental design. To reduce variation. Experimental design. Split in two separate groups. Experimental design. Randomize all the units. Experimental design. Replicate each treatment. Experimental design. To reduce variation. Experimental design. Let me teach you the basics so you don't, don't get, get lost. All uh -huh. you need to know to design experiments like a boss. Experiments are done on experimental units. They are called subjects if they happen to be human. Treatments are imposed on them and results are then measured. Avoid biases so results will be better. You may use a placebo that is a dummy treatment. It helps to measure differences so the results are decent. For your experiment and mine ain't the same dang kind. You forgot to make control groups and to even randomize. See, without a control, results may be astounding because a lurking factor may be present and confounded. I'm split in two separate groups. Experimental design. Randomize all the units. Experimental design. Replicate each treatment. Experimental design. To reduce variation. Experimental design. Split in two separate groups. Experimental design. Randomize all the units. Experimental design. Replicate each treatment. Experimental design. To reduce variation. Experimental design. If you want to keep it simple, then use an SRS. A simple random sample can sometimes be the best. To get into depth, you may enjoy stratification. Random samples from specific places in the population. Split in two separate groups. Experimental design. Randomize all the units. Experimental design. Replicate each treatment. Experimental design. To reduce variation. Experimental design. Split in two separate groups. 